What's up, guys? This is Kefis. In this video, I am going to showcase some new macros that I have created for World of Warcraft using a mod called Gnome Sequencer Enhanced. This mod allows you to create extremely powerful macros that can perform most if not all of your rotation with a single button. This can be extremely useful for individuals like myself who has a disability or for people who just want to be lazy. So keep in mind that these macros are created primarily for those who are playing the game at a more casual level, but feel free to use them and alter them as you see fit. If you have further questions about the mod or my macros, I recommend checking out my FAQ video, and if you'd like to learn more about how to play the class in question, you might want to check out my crash course. It can help get you started. And I will provide links to all of these things in the description below. Today we're going to check out the macro that I've created for Beast Mastery Hunters. Now, Beast Mastery Hunters used to be one of the easiest classes to macro, uh, but as time has gone on they've become a little bit more difficult and we'll get into that, but we're going to go ahead and uh, type slash gs to open up Gnome Sequencer. You can see Kef BM is your macro, and it's an all-in-one macro for single target and for AoE, so let's take a look and see what all it can do. It does do quite a lot. I've uh, done the best I can to make the rotation as fluid as possible, make it work as best as can and perform as well as it can, but obviously there are going to be some things that, to, you know, if you want to get the most out of your Beast Mastery Hunter, then using a macro may be a little bit more difficult to do that now, but uh, yeah, so... Uh, as always, it'll do. Uh, it'll send your pet to attack. It'll cast Claw, Bite, or Smack, depending on which type of pet that you have. So it'll keep that going. And then if you do not have a pet, it'll call your first pet. Uh, so keep that in mind. Whatever pet you want to be the most used pet, uh, you want to have that in pet slot number one. Now, it will uh, turn off Growl when you're in a group, and it will turn Growl back on when you're out of a group, which is very nice. Uh, Long-time Hunter players know the struggle with Growl being in a group, so uh, that is very handy. Now, another nice thing is that if you have a focus target, it will use Misdirection on that target. If you do not, it will use Misdirection on your pet. So keep that in mind. If you're in a group and you're using this macro, make sure that you uh, you know focus target your uh, your tank otherwise you're going to be sending threat to your pet you don't want to do that so keep that in mind now if you hold down shift the macro will used will use barb shot now this is an option okay we're going to get into barb shot here in a second but this is probably the most efficient way for the macro to manage barb shot is by using a modifier because of how barb shot works you know with the charges if you just put barb shot in the macro it's just going to use it as soon as it's available it's going to use both charges right away you'll get two stacks of frenzy uh but you know you're not getting the most out of your barb shot so um keep that in mind this is an option you can use shift for barb shot you can also hit control for multi shot every few seconds you'll want to throw in a multi shot to keep up beast cleave uh and that's pretty much everything you need to know about this section here now right away you can see in the main macro section barb shot is also included in the macro this is an option for people that are just lazy you don't really care about getting the most min maxing out of your barb shot you just want to use it use it up use it as soon as it becomes available and not worry about it that's an option it's in the macro obviously like for me let when i'm leveling up and playing in the world doing world quests and stuff like that i don't really care about being super efficient i just want to use the ability on cooldown i don't want to think about it so i put barb shot in the macro if you don't want to have barb shot in the macro and you want to manage it with a modifier just simply remove the line just highlight the line select it and then you know delete it and then you're good to go so just straightforward then don't forget to hit save and then it'll remove barb shot from your macro okay so it's in there for people who want to be lazy like myself otherwise you know you can take it out now next up is kill shot it's going to use that whenever it can when your targets blow 20% health and then we get into kill co okay this ne next this next line is where things get a little bit tricky okay so before I could just just put Cobra Shot at the bottom of the macro, but Cobra Shot works differently differently now. It uses focus and it reduces the cooldown of kill command, right? So you want to use those abilities together. Now it says steady shot because that's just how the macro and how like I guess the, the in-game macro recognizes the ability, but it's actually going to be using Cobra Shot, okay? When you're a beast mastery hunter, steady shot is cobra shot. So it says steady shot in the macro, but just know it is cobra shot, okay? Um so what's gonna happen is it's going to use one, it's gonna use uh, kill command and then two 
steady uh, cobra shots and then they'll use kill command when it comes off cooldown again okay so the idea there is that you generally speaking you'll get like two cobra shots off i've tested this you know decently well it seems like the most efficient way to do it is two cobra shots sometimes i was like i was having a lot of focus other times i was having like less focus so it's not perfect but two uh two co uh, steady uh cobra dang it, i'm getting confused two cobra shots kill command right that's the idea so that way you're not overusing cobra shot you're not like starving yourself of focus you're not using too many you get two in then kill command and then you're going to go back and that's kind of the cycle so it's not perfect obviously the best thing to do another option would be to put like cobra shot on another modifier and then just have kill command be used on cooldown with the macro but this was just an easier way to do it it's kind of like a, a way to just kind of make it simply you know simple to use not too many modifiers just you know spamming a button not thinking about it that's kind of the idea here so once again this is sort of like you know an option for the lazy uh, if you want to get the most efficiency out of this then you probably want to put a steady shot on a different button or co cobra shot on a different button or add it to a modifier alt would be your last modifier so you could do that as well and then just make a line cast kill command okay that's the idea there okay so now we're getting into a bunch of talents which are all, obviously all the talents are pretty easy i mean they're there a lot of them are passives otherwise they're just you know cooldown talents which makes them very easy to use Dire Beast, Chimera Shot, Murder of Crows, Barrage, Stampede, and Bloodshed. All the macro will manage them. If you choose them as talents, the macro will use them on cooldown. And then, of course, we have your two main offensive cooldown and cooldowns in key release, which is where I like to put those. Now, Aspect of the Wild is not on the global cooldown for some stupid reason. Bestial Wrath still is. So, unfortunately, uh, I couldn't put anything else down there. And, of course, Bestial Wrath still on the global cooldown. Don't know why, but it is what it is. So, otherwise, I mean, the macro is going to manage those just fine. Pretty easy stuff. And, you know, obviously, if you have a, a, a race, a racial, you could always put that there as well. I'm pretty sure those are all off the global cooldown as well. But, uh, either way, I've got them like that. So, that's kind of the idea here. Again, you know, these macros, like, I do the best I can. I mean, I think that... The changes to the Beast Mastery Hunter make it more fun to play, more interesting a class to play for sure, but it's definitely harder to macro than it used to be. I mean, I remember back in Legion, uh, Beast Mastery Hunter was like the easiest class in the game to macro, but it was also kind of the most straightforward and kind of bland in a lot of ways. I mean, there are some cool talents that you have, um, you know, to, to, to spice things up, of course, but uh, but now it's not as bland. There's a little bit more, you know, cooldown management, you know, some, some dot management. I'm not a big fan of uh, Barb Shot just because I'm not a big fan of dot. Uh, but I do think it adds more, you know, complexity to the rotation, and, and and overall, it's not so bad. And you know, barb shot is easy to macro. You may not get the most mileage out of it, but it is relatively easy to macro. So that's something that's nice as well. Now, there is only one real talent that I want to talk about, and that is uh, barrage. Now, like I said, everything else is like either a passive or an ability that you know just has a, a straight up cooldown, easy to use. Barrage has a cooldown, but it is a channeling ability. Now, if you're spamming your macro, you start using barrage and you keep spamming it then the macro will stop you know you, it'll it'll interrupt your channeling and stop using barrage now i tend to put no channeling modifiers or, or uh, uh, you know command lines in the macro so i'll be like cast no channeling and then the ability you know but a lot of times for whatever reason with gnome sequencer those don't seem to always be effective so i didn't even really bother putting it in here i don't know why i don't know what it is i don't know if it's a, a gnome sequencer thing or if it's just the way macros work i don't know i don't have the answer but overall my best advice is to either you know remove barrage from the macro put it on a separate button and use it on cooldown or when you start seeing yourself cast barrage stop spamming the macro until barrage is done and then start spamming the macro again that's kind of the best i can do again i i you know like i said i you could try putting no channeling and all those lines i just don't bother because in my experience it just doesn't always seem to work it's not always effective so i just didn't bother putting it in the macro so there you guys go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative for you. I hope that you enjoy the Beast Mastery Hunter macro. Still fairly easy to use. Pretty straightforward stuff. It does do quite a lot. Uh, but overall, you know, the class is a little bit more complex. And when that happens, the macros do get trickier to make. But it's all fun to, to try to work on those. So I hope you enjoy this macro. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next one. And that's basically everything you need to know about these macros and how they work. Remember, these macros work best when they are spammed, so either press the button as fast as you can or use a rapid fire button, which is fair game as long as you're the one pressing the button. As powerful as these macros are, they are far from perfect. 
So, if you want to play the game at a high level and get the most out of your class, I highly recommend that you play the game without these macros. But, if you'd like to get started with Gnome Sequencer Enhanced, you can do so by downloading and installing the mod. A link can be found in the description below. Along with it, you will find Payspin links for any macros featured in this video. If you'd like to use them, simply click the link and you'll be taken to a raw Payspin of the macro. Select the entire macro, copy, log in to the appropriate class, type slash GS to open the GNOME sequencer screen, click on import, paste the macro into the available space, make sure that automatically create macro icon is checked, and click import. You can now drag the icon to your action bar and the macro is ready to be used. If you followed all the steps correctly, the macro should be working fine. If something isn't working, start over and make sure that you follow all the steps correctly. If you are having further issues, I recommend that you check out the mod page or contact the mod's author for more information. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by clicking that like button. And feel free to share it with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are posted. You can also follow me on Facebook, and if you'd like, you can support my work on Patreon. Links to all that stuff can be found in the description below. This is Kefis, until next time.